Hey Raptors, welcome back to the channel and today we are back with another episode in this lovely series of horror game Coffee, so sorry if I just have a random pause So today we are going to do the flash No, we did it did the flashlight in the previous one Today we're going to do the first part of the camera that's going to be the normal camera in the, and the in-game flashlight camera. Ah, uh, camera flashlight. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, first things, we're going to add a few components. Well, two exactly. First thing is going to be a post-process component. And we're going to call that normal camera again guys spelling please do not make fun of my spelling and the second thing that we're going to add is a flashlight uh, not flashlight a ah we're going to add a spotlight damn cam we can call it camera Uh, flashlight. Yeah, let's call it camera flashlight. Flash. Flashlight. So that would be the components part. One thing we have to do with both of them is add the post process. Just um, disable it, and the flashlight. Just set it to non-visible then variables we're going to add a camera on and that's going to stay boolean and then we're going to add another one that's going to say flash ah camera flashlight camera Flash light. No, it's not. Camera flashlight on. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do with this part is we're going to add a key that's the C key on the keyboard. We're not going to add it at the um, player settings just for now. Cause a few things we're going to do there. I'll add it in the future. But for now let's just keep it at C. So from there we're going to say uh, just give me a moment. Close my window because the People are cutting grass and it's irritating me and I believe you can hear it. So let's go. Branch. So cameras pressed. First we want to see if cameras are already on. If it's not on, then we want to put it on by going so if camera is true, wrong one. Camera is true, we want to put it to false, and if it's false, we want to put it to true. And from there, we're going to go to our post process. Not set. Get, and we want to say enable. Set enable. Here it's just going to be normal, and here it's going to be true. For I forget, remember to add the ticks, and that's going to be the first part of this small video. And then, of course, 
we wanted to make sure that the flashlight is not going to be on but we're going to just add it up here so we're going to take this whole part right here select everything what we did in the previous video and we're going to bring it down here and drag that up here and from there we want flashlight off okay from here we're going to add another branch and if camera on equals false and you want to use a normal flashlight it can happen but if camera is true and you want to set the other flashlight on branch because remember flashlight uh, this flashlight on off is F so if you wanted to use another um, button you can but for this sake we're going to use it like this so if cameras off and you press flashlight well if then it will go to the normal flashlight but if cameras on and you press F for flashlight it will go to the camera flashlight so then from camera flashlight for boolean we're going to say if camera flashlight is true we want to set it to false and if camera flashlight is false we want to set it to true so we can toggle the two between the states and remember the sign to put that box there okay and from there we're going to bring in the camera flashlight in And then we're going to say um, visible, set visibility. So there and connect those. It's easy as that. And remember to set it to visible, new visibility. On, <coughs> so it will actually work. So compile, save. My cats. Sorry about that. Then we're going to go to the post processing of the normal camera. Now I have already experimented with a value that I'm going to use here. If you go to your post processing in the normal camera and you scroll down to lens and then you find image effect and then those last two the grain we're going to use those values but as you can see it's already working i'm gonna bring in my character and at the moment remember to actually enable this of not visibility to enable it so you can actually see what you're doing go and drag that out make it smaller make that one larger so we can just see here and first thing we're going to play with is the grain if you put that to one it's going to know the fireflies on a old television has this well that's what we're going to use in a normal camera and then the other these two values you just can play with but I found a good one at uh, 0.5 and 0.7 those two is two good values for me to actually use bring that back make that small again that's going to be the only two values that we're actually going to use. And I'm on the wrong map again. Ah, go to my original map. It's 
save again. Can take that out and remember to disable it again because it would be going wrong if yeah. So let's start. Oh wait, I've got something. Okay, so it's another blueprint that I was working on. As you can see, flashlight, normal flashlight, reloaded, normal flashlight, and say C. Normal flashlight is off, and the camera grain is coming out. And then we should press flashlight again. The other flashlight is enabled. So, and it will actually follow the camera full way up and down, up and down, and side to side, just like the other one. But the other the normal flashlight does not go up and down. Okay. So, from here, it's going to be a little bit more easier because then we're going to just use the battery. We just have to set up the battery of the two values. Okay. So, going to add two new variables. The one is going to be a camera flash light battery life and it's going to be a integer a uh, float not an integer and the next one is going to be an integer that's going to be camera <laughs> flash light bat battery amount serve the spelling like I said don't mind the spelling and that's going to be a integer. Okay. Now the easy part is that we already done this um, life in the previous video with the camera, oh, with the flashlight. So I'm just going to copy it here and paste it here. Going to make it a lot easier. And then we're going to move this up. And also this with it, move it up, move up, and from here we're going to first add a branch, same as this one. But unfortunately, I'm not going to show you the reload section because in the next video I'm going to change that as well over video. After that, I'm going to change both the camera and the normal flashlights um, reloading of a battery. So from here, go straight in there and just change the variable variables of flashlight on is going to change to camera flashlight on. Then next thing that's going to change is flashlight battery is going to be camera flashlight battery life. And that's going to change as well as here. Yeah, I'm just replacing everything. <laughs> and same here. Nope, not like that. Ah, again. Come on, there you go. And if it's true, goes back. And if it's false, it's going in here. 
and also I forgot to change change that. So that would be the basics, and I'm going to add a value of a hundred. See if it works. <clears throat> Normal flashlight, battery dead, and then we're going to go to camera. See we're in camera flashlight and it's starting counting down and it will at the end it will actually just shut off the flashlight like the previous video okay I'm gonna end it here this was a little bit shorter video of course the next video is going to be a little bit longer because then we're going to actually change a few values because we're going to do another post process of the night vision and that's going to take more power than the normal battery of a camera. And yeah. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. I try to keep everything short so it will it won't take too much time of your busy day. And it would be easier for me to. So if you enjoyed the video, remember to Keep that thumbs thumbs up on the video and remember to subscribe for more videos. I upload daily one or two videos of this tutorial series. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it. But guys, if you did not enjoy my video or something went wrong that you didn't like, remember there is a thumbs down. I would really appreciate it just to see a response that people are actually active and remember to leave in the comments below of what I did wrong or why why you didn't like it and it's almost done it's almost dead <laughs> it's like a countdown for me <laughs> and guys yeah remember to enjoy this lovely day and happily happy developing and if there is in the future a project that you would like me to host or do a tutorial on remember the comments is open for all of you I will go check out the comments to say I can do that or I'll do research to do it just for you guys <clears throat> and as you have just seen the flashlight went off and I cannot I'm pressing F and I'm in camera and flashlight isn't going on so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video remember to like subscribe dislike would be appreciated if you didn't like something remember to comment i love to hear from you all and until next time guys bye